you sent me flying. Your minions catch me. I lie in the nest of a hawk. And it's happy here. It's heaven to the life I used to know. The people you met, don't you forget. Like a surprise, I didn't expect. I think he's somewhat conservative. Peter. Yes. Is your mic on? Oh no, no uh, maybe we can get. I'll ask if uh, I can have the mic on. Does anybody have a record player? You have a record player at home? No, a uh, one with a needle. I'm like getting out records. I'll get I'll get the first one. I want to get the first one. I want to get the I like the beard. No, you look good, man. Emmanuel Macron. Liberté, equality, fraternité. Yay! Happy Bastille Day. Since 1996, Viva la France, Peter de Zosa has presented a Bastille Day show with a request. Now, 230 years late, to remember to free the Marquis de Sade. They had moved the Marquis. He moved to the Marriott Marquis. But was that a good idea? Perhaps Desaad wouldn't have written as much if he were free. Uh, I don't know if anybody's read anything about the Marquis Desaad. Or how about Henry Jacques Rousseau? Because he's more in the era of enlightenment. Tier Throne is here tonight. He and I introduced the age of romantic enlightenment back at the Throne Dance Theater in the 90s. This was all before the downtown became so popular as a result of the terrible disaster of the World Trade Center. But uh, those days he did live there for, um, uh, with a fantastic dance space in some an area. Was it Soho? Tribeca. Oh, whatever. Tribeca, I guess, became wow. even more impossible to live. But that was Tier the the groundbreaker of um, that area. He, he completely created his own dance theater, and we would have romantic enlightenment variety shows. Uh, and I did try to link them in with Bastille Day, but Bastille Day is particularly important to me because uh, I had introduced pro-choice on mental health, and in 1996, on Bastille Day, you know, we interrupt pro-choice on mental health to bring you the following important new musical by a master surrealist, Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, yeah. That premiere, that's right. Yay, for those of you who like any of this. Some of you might know, thank you. It's on uh, Spotify under uh, something. Bastille Day marks the beginning of the first of three French revolutions. There was also 1830 and 1848, but the revolutionary stormed the Bastille and set its prisoners free, followed by many executions of the rise of Napoleon and then two more revolutions, as well as another commune uh, crushing. There's been a lot of 
internal history of France. Anybody want to, Pat, do you have any familiarity with French history? I do. I mean, some of them. Do you ever hear La Come Commune? On the Commune? You know, there was a period where it was like uh, Tompkins Square Park, where everybody just lived out in a commune setting and they were crushed like uh, what happened in Tompkins Square Park. And um, anyway, the Marquis de Sade was an aristocrat. He lived a he was a libertine during the first of the French revolutions. He was steeped in the age of the late 18th century Romantic Enlightenment, spent his various prison terms writing incendiary wordplay in reaction to English literature, particularly Pamela or Virtue Rewarded. Did anybody ever read that by Samuel Richardson? There's another big reaction to that um, style of writing by somebody in England called Matthew Gregory Lewis. He wrote The Monk, a gothic novel, which also gets into this um, reaction to uh, Catholic religion of the day. Uh, Desaad wrote at the Bastille, but by July 14th, he had already been moved to the Charitan Asylum for the Insane. Oh if anybody knows Mara Saad, this um, clever uh, playwright, Peter Weiss, uh, thought that Marquis de Sade would write his own version of the French Revolution and about Mara, you know, the assassination of Mara, which is the famous bathtub uh, painting where uh, Cordelia, played by Glenda Jackson, comes in. And so, um, so check out The Monk. I, I know we will. I don't know, Mara is not here. In fact, I hope and Zora Where's is not at? here, but we'll um, bring her over. We've been going through Frankenstein, which is another uh, work of the Enlightenment. And it's interesting, there are two versions of Frankenstein as well. We'll go to about that era, so 1789 to about 1831. Desaad wrote in Bastille by that time. The Bastille was a symbol of absolute arbitrary power of an ancient regime. However, it held only seven prisoners at the time of its storming. But it was a prison, and prisons are still in use today privatized though they may be, so we're going to set the prisoners free. Oh, but first we're going to start with our other song. Uh, well, hello, I'm Peter DeZoza, that's my Alan. Alan, look at it. Alan's on. Annie Malou. We are the steps, okay? We're a portion of the steps. Uh, and we're using, we're using JP's. Uh, this is by Apple. It's called an iPad. Five, six, seven, ten. <laughs> where I left off Not to call this wasteful Sure I'm gaining all along But should these efforts seem expended all in vain Don't get excited It's much more than we know And soon will come the time we will all be here Only when you're gone will we find you here
where the project begins, square two. Where does a new one fit in with all the rest? We make the best, we make it, cause we need it. Square three, how do we ever get past square four? Making a world that will last through all the wash and wear it. There it's holding. you might sing because you know you feel left out you're take well, they were all taken to camp x-ray in, in this case but this is you know ancient history now and uh, this guy's just left alone in the middle of the desert uh, and so there's a feeling that you want to belong even though all your friends are in prison <laughs> I guess other people have that I'm trying to think of other examples of that okay so then and I say this also the death of AM radio Here it is. five six seven eight. <laughs> You are not treating them well, they should be handled humanely. Even though they were inhumane, they raped and pillaged, and now you have the bastards in check. Round up my followers so you can take them to jail. Don't leave me behind, I pack my fear in a smile. I'm hiding, I'm caught in your mousetrap. my credibility pity all the lot of us we wear your mittens as we kneel on the ground with our hands in your cuffs don't leave us behind pack up your kit bag and smile not black again time to flam up do not dress Series. Of course, that's the one you had to see. That picture speaks for itself. It also speaks for my friends and how they look to me. What each one tells me is, don't leave me behind. I pack my fear in a smile. I'm hiding the crosses. Your mouse trap. Don't shoot. Am I an unlawful combatant? Unwilling detainee? Just a prisoner of war. Why would that matter? Because the Geneva Convention would apply. Doing something evil, you continue doing evil, or you will be destroyed soon or later on the field where I stand.
fear in a smile. RCA Records, the 45s were on green vinyl when they were country western. And they were red vinyl, they were classical. So no, that's Osama Bin Laden. That was an Osama Bin Laden song. Next up, oh yeah, he said, he had some pop music there. I think the Spider-Mans too, uh, they did a ridiculous uh, Osama Bin Laden satire. You know, a lot of the um, uh, superhero movies, sometimes the guys are trying to be satirists. And you're right. Um, but our child is almost on her feet, standing on her own. We need a playpen, short for penitentiary. <laughs> we are enclosing her for her own good. No, she needs to be free. Thank you. Uh, what was the name of them? The Washington Squares. Peter Goodkin. I didn't realize it was kind of French. The Washington Squares wore these shirts, and somehow I have this shirt. My, very French. Thank you. So, one, two, Ooh. 
by the sea. He, he. Bravo. Living in an ivory tower, I was excited by the danger of the world. The ivory tower was a prison, and I threw myself out of it, and now there's no going back. I, I threw my hair down, <laughs> pulled the hair down. I would rather be a racehorse imprisoned by his jockey. Let's see, okay, from Pro Choice on Mental Health. Fire in his hands. I would rather be a racehorse imprisoned by his jockey. But even after my jockey is arrested for animal cruelty, I would visit the cell of my imprisoned tormentor. I am pro-choice on mental health, and yet I'm at a loss for words. Why I justified what I chose. sounds, these voices need to confide in me, they're inching towards me like a sword, they pierce, they're coming inside of me, I have no choice when they're guiding me, they cheat, they steal and they lie to me, why do they hide in me, I say let me be, like heat off pavement stones I rise, Jockeys are riding me. I hear their yells, their clang of bells. The sharpened spurs have been chiding me. Their jabs go under the hide of me. They urge me, be what you wanna be. Do what you want with me. I say, let me be. Are you finished? Get away from me. Are you lonely? Come to me and stay. Are you running? Thank you. Come another day. Those days are over, gone. They're lost. They're found. They're living inside of me. The streets awake with shadows quake. They crack. They crumble with ecstasy. The cops may take you away from me. I'll tell you, be what you wanna be. Do what you want with me. I say, let me be. What you wanna be, do what you want. I say, let me be. Let me be with you in your prison cell. Me for you down a wishing well. You wanna be what you wanna be. Be what you wanna be. Do what you want with me. I wanna be with you in your prison cell. Me for you, who I know so well. Be what you wanna be. Be what you want. Do what you want with me. Do what you want Revolution is a cautionary tale. You know, the American Revolution had a great deal of help from Lafayette, but as we know from Hamilton, the musical, that uh, the uh, when it came time in the French Revolution, Lafayette called and the Americans did not return the favor. Uh, but by then, it's, anybody follow? The um, Lafayette, a lot of uh, our Lafayette around the New York area is Lafayette Street, Lafayette Avenue. Um, even if it had not descended into a spiral of executions, it differed from the American Revolution because France was not a colony of a foreign monarchy. Uh, the French revolted against their own monarch. In fact, the French were monarchs in Mexico, you know, around the time of 
Um, the Mexican Revolution, the French action, so there had to be a revolution from them. Um, so, uh, but anyway, in hindsight, we can look with superiority as the noble, the noble savage is in the Paris catacombs. Um, all I can say is, I don't want to eat you, I want your species to survive as my food. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so here's a, the oasis, but we find ourselves in the oasis. At some point, we'll connect more with the uh, five, six, seven, eight. You deserve our sympathy for all the things you've done. If you think it in a blanket is what you've begun. I hear the cannons surrounding your gaze, rising to aim at your wall. Begin to comprehend by learning where you're from. What creates the madness you become? You hide in the chasm of the dark pit that you dug. You for his first crime You let drop your cover Like a stitch in a rug It fell like it felt For the very first time I see the victim Surrounding your gate Eager to break through your walls Try to appease them With pieces of hate on the part of the, the victor, and otherwise he's going to kill everything else that's there. So he lets the women and children leave, and the women carry out the men. Even their leaders, they save. Uh, we've already heard of a willingness to escape the ivory tower. What else have more? So Frankenstein is a statement for the rationalist romantic enlightenment. There are two versions, 1818 and 1831, um, that differ in tone. Uh, the triumphant joy of all emotions like Don Giovanni finds victory in defeat and feels sorrow in all its demonic beauty, relishing the worst and the best, the amorality of joy and music. Whatever the character, make the music beautiful. That's good advice from the age of romantic enlightenment. Um, 
So the interesting thing that we're not yet able to fully share is that there are two versions of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and we are reading which one? The first. Because it's incredible. Yeah, that's the 18-year-old uh, Mary Shelley. But the one I think that's mostly, her, it's pretty out there. But it's out in uh, the Arctic. It all ends and begins in the Arctic region. Now, in terms of um, Who's the, we? Who, a kinder who's, gentleman, reading it? Uh, yeah, Myra and I have been oh, listening to it, actually, were, okay. on LibriVox. We have a LibriVox oh, recording. Yeah, right. So what sometimes happens is there's a kinder, gentler sadomasochism that we'd like to introduce in the age of romantic. <laughs> so <laughs> this, this next song, from 1980, uh, tries, to, tries to capture that magic. But it's, uh, it really goes to the, the skyline that makes a big difference when, you know, wherever you are. I think it, it changes people's behavior when they see that skyline out there. So, Monica de Souza, a great inspiration throughout my life. So, here it is in A flat. You hurt me. Occipitous 